Welcome to RMS CRM Addons.com tutorial on how to configure a one-click action in Documents Call Pack for Dynamics 365. In this video I will show you how easy it is to create a one-click action. One-click actions have been designed to perform business tasks on a single button click. To give an example, accounting has to send a code to the customer by email as PDF, send it to the printer for a printed copy, as well as save it to SharePoint. With a one-click action, you can drill down this process to be just a matter of a single click for your end users. And this is actually the example we will work with in this tutorial. Because we want to keep this example simple, please also have a look at the corresponding documentation, one-click actions for DCP server based on our website. To get started, we have to open Dynamics 365 settings, navigate to MSCRM add-ons and select Documents Callback. This opens the main configuration window where we can find the one-click actions tab. A click on this tab provides us with all the active entities. In this case, we want to create an action for the entity code. So we hit the edit button on the right side to open the code one-click actions, which allows us to change or delete existing actions, but also to create new ones. As we want to create a new action, we hit the new single button, which opens the dialog above. Here we want to enter the name of our action. We will name it Send Code to Customer and hit OK. This opens the configuration wizard that helps us to configure our action in detail. In the general settings we can change the name of our action and also add a description. Create PDF, attach the email, print PDF and save to SharePoint makes sense in this case. We could also set this action as default by checking the checkbox, which means that it will be automatically triggered. With the click on Next, we switch to the template settings to configure our template selection. Here we select predefined template from the first drop down menu and select our template, code in this case. This means the end user does not have a template selection. The template is automatically used. Next we go to the processing settings to define how the document should be processed upon generation. In the first drop down menu we select PDF as file type as the code should be sent in PDF format and for the attached document option we select as email attachment. We have the possibility to set a default sender here, but in this case the current user will be the sender. We can choose one or more recipients, like, for example, potential customer contact. We also have the possibility to select an email template. In this case, we select code email. In order to print a PDF, we have to check the print document checkbox and select our printer. And we should not forget to check the save to SharePoint checkbox before going to the next step. The last steps enable us to define the review settings. For example, review the document and allow editing before sending the email. After configuring all steps, we have to save our one-click action. Now let's take a look from an end-user perspective. If a Dynamics 365 user now clicks on the Create Document button, the user will be automatically provided with a new one-click action, Send Code to Customer. With the click on this action, the user has the possibility to edit this action and also to preview the document, because we defined it before in the review settings. A click on the finish button will finalize the process, in this case attach it to email and print the document. That's all you have to do. For more details, simply check the documentation and our blog. Have a look at our contact details and do not hesitate to contact us if you require further information. Please also have a look at our website, follow us on Facebook or Twitter and also have a look at our YouTube channel. Thank you for your attention.